Yo, 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 physics, 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 physics. Hi, I'm Vinopal and I'm back to season two, episode number six of the Pathfinder series. And this is a question from the Laws of Motion chapter from the Pathfinder book. This is part of the homework that I've given for the Laws of Motion crash course chapter. Don't forget to go to vinopal.com and enroll for the free lectures of the Game Changer course. It has incredible short methods, never seen before short methods for mechanics and electromagnetism that will transform your physics to another level. So register for free. And now let's take a look at this question. Lower end of a uniform inextensible rope of mass 2 kg and length 4 meters is attached to a block of mass 7.5 kg placed on a horizontal floor. Coefficient of friction between the block and the floor is 0.5. The upper end of the rope is at 2 meters above the lower end, so that the tangent at the lower end remains horizontal. So uh, the block stays standstill, so it's in equilibrium. The upper end must be pulled at an angle that is closest to what? So we saw this in our theory lecture that the relation between the tensions that's it the tension here is t naught that's the tension here is t dash so the relation between the tension with this height is h would be t naught minus t dash is lambda g h and we know lambda is mass per unit length so 2 divided by 2 kg divided by uh, the length of the rope is 4 meters. So I have one equation is T naught minus T dash is 0.5 into 10 into the height is given to us as 2 meters. So this is one equation. And the other equation is that the component, the vertical component of T naught, let's say this angle is theta. So the vertical component of T naught has to balance the weight of the rope. And I say T naught sine theta should be equal to um, 20 newtons, mass is 2 kg. And the third equation would be that the horizontal component of tension should be equal for the horizontal equilibrium of the rope. So T naught cos theta should be equal to T dash. So it is substituting T dash in the first equation. I'll have T naught into 1 minus cos theta should be 10. And uh, I also have the second equation T naught sine theta is 20. So just divide and then uh, you should be able to solve for theta. So either you can use trigonometry equation or you can just check from the options as well. You will get theta as 53 degrees. My answer would be B.